Hi, I'm Sam, and this is Investing Simplified. So, you've heard about investing, the words like bonds, stocks, and ETFs, about saving for your retirement, your goals, or just beating inflation. But what is investing exactly? In this series, I'm going to walk you through the ins and outs of investing, starting with the fundamentals, the why, what, and how, so you can make your money work harder for you. First and foremost, why invest? Let's talk about the importance of investing. Over the last 50 years, Singapore's inflation has grown steadily at an average of 2.5% a year. Remember back in the early 2000s when you could buy a house with just a few hundred thousand dollars? Today, that likely only covers the cost of renovations. That's because the value of money and its purchasing power depreciates as inflation and hence prices continue to rise. Investing helps mitigate this by growing your money to hedge against the impact of increasing prices. When you invest, your money works harder for you. Sure, you can leave it securely in a savings account, some of which you should. But a portion of it, when properly invested, can open up doors to wealth accumulation, which purely savings cannot match. For example, saving $1,000 a month with your bank's interest rate of just 1.7% will take you 52 years to reach a million dollars. However, that same million dollar goal can be achieved in just half that time, 26 years to be exact, if invested with an average rate of return of 8.1% a year. While yes, that's still a long period of time, investing can put the seemingly unachievable amount within the grasp of many. With the power of compounding interest, this can help fast track your financial goals. Ultimately, investing shouldn't simply be about the accumulation of wealth. For most, it's more about a means to an end. Whether it's traveling the world, pursuing your passions, or attaining financial freedom, investing can be the key to a better future. With that in mind, let's talk about the three most important considerations you should make. Factors that will shape your perspectives and priorities. The foundation that will define the how and the what for your personal investment strategy in the years to come. Risk, time, and goals. 